to frack or not to frack? Mm -hmm. That is the question. This ongoing argument continues in Annapolis and among other opinion leaders and stakeholders throughout the state. Ron, what say you? Fracking is uh, something I think is going to be a local cho choice in Garrett County. Okay. Um, I do not favor any way, shape, or form state land being used for fracking. If they bought land for, for the purpose of conservation, I think it should stay conservation. However, if there are landowners that meet the criteria in Garrett County uh, for outside uh, developers or those that will do the fracking that they can come to an agree with, I think uh, it could be allowed, but in all honesty, uh, the, the, the price of, uh, of what they get out of the ground now is going way down. I do not see it as a practical benefit for a company to come into the state of Maryland in the pristine Garrett County to do fracking. Right. Let me pose this question to the panel. What about the jobs that, you know, could be created with, with fracking? Well, the, and something, County, something important to, to think about on that is it's, you know, they are temporary jobs. You know, once, once they have the gas wells set up, then most of those jobs are going to go away. Well, so I think there's two, actually two points, and I'd like to back up to fracking because this is something that I, through some family connections that are involved in this and other areas of the world happen to know quite a bit about. And so I have several uh, connections that are leading fracking engineers. The issues that we've seen in Ohio and Pennsylvania where you've had earthquakes being caused and all these other issues are not a, an, an element caused by the fracking process itself. It's caused by poor science. They don't have the geologists who understand the strata that they're drilling into and they're not properly placing their wells to make sure that there is a sufficient buffer that does not cause the layers that are very fragmentatious from fragmenting, which then cause earthquakes and leakage and everything else. So there, the problem we have with fracking is just a lack of skill in doing it correctly. Now, I think to Ron's point, the fact that you're dealing with one property owner who is allowing fracking that may be next to a, a public property, when you're fracking, you're fracking at a depth that a boundary of property means absolutely nothing. Yeah. So if you're not doing it correctly, you're affecting an area of miles around it. So I think what's wrong with fracking in this country is not the fact that we're allowing it, but we don't have the proper standards in place to ensure that it's being done correctly. Now, when it comes to the jobs, honestly, you're not gonna hire a bunch of people in Garrett County that have never fracked before um, to, to actually d dig a well. You're going to bring in a team of people who are experts in this field because it takes years of training and, and experience to be able to actually frack. And you have geologists, you have engineers, you have all these other people. So it doesn't create local jobs. If you look at what happened in South Dakota with a boom in natural gas, those were not local South Dakotans. Those were people who came from other places that participated in the economy. Now, that created uh, an economic boom for the local economy because uh, property prices went up and cost of living went up and restaurants went up and everything else that supported that economy. But it's not really directly employing people in that area. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, so let me ask you all's opinion on this. So one of the concerns that I have always had with fracking is that, you know, and the, and I've actually talked, you know, reviewed some of the legislature. The legislature basically says it has to be done safely. But the problem with that is that, that sounds great on paper, but, you know, one of my concerns I've always had is what happens if you accidentally poison the water supply? Mm -hmm. Can that be undone? No, it cannot. And there, in, and I think you're hitting on the exact problem. It's, it makes, it's a feel good measure to say, it must be done safely. Right. Fracking can be done safely, but you need to establish standards for how it should be done. And we may not have that expertise, and really we weren't in this business 10 years ago. It was only when we discovered that we're sitting on so much natural gas, more than the rest of the world, that we started doing this. There are other places in the world where this has been done for a long period of time. Now, when it comes to the petroleum industry, the petroleum industry is very fluid in terms of the experts that go from place to place, and that is a tried and true 
uh, method of, of drilling for oil, and it's been done. There are some disasters, mm -hmm. and I saw a very funny BP commercial about safety a couple of days ago <laughs> that made me chuckle. But uh, you know, there are disasters, but overall, it's it's a well-established industry. Right. Natural gas drilling isn't quite there. So, right. and you know, this is actually I think a good example. And I'm not always for regulation, but I think sometimes you need smart regulation to tell people, hey, you can't go stick your finger in an outlet because you're going to get electrocuted. And the same thing applies. And I think you bring up a very good point. If you mess this up, you could screw up the water supply for an entire area, and that's a very dangerous right. thing, right? So let's establish the standards for how you do it correctly, and then. We can have another conversation whether you want to do it or not, but if it's being done safely, I think a lot of the opposition goes away. Well, let's, let's talk about it the next time uh, when, when we talk about what Collins talked about. Let's talk about doing fracking in western Maryland and drilling wells on, on the eastern shore at Ocean City. Both of them will be a dramatic problem for the state of Maryland economy. Yeah. We have our pristine Garrett County. We have our ocean at Ocean City. That's what makes Maryland America in miniature. I can't see us becoming involved. I don't care how many jobs that it creates, is it worth ruining an entire area for a couple of jobs that are temporary for somebody coming in and out of town? Well, you know, and it, it really is, you know, it, it's the question isn't all, as much is it worth ruining it, but is it worth risking that we could ruin it? What is the risk level associated with it? And I don't think anybody really knows. We don't. But up next, it's Fast Five. Four panelists, five topics, and six minutes. Stay with us here on the flip side.